Hello, this is Gabriel McBird, and the date is the 22nd of December 2019. And I'm in Exmouth, and this evening we went to a place called Himalaya Namaste, which is meant to be Nepalese. I don't know how it, how authentic it really is. Uh, I have my I have my doubts, but the food was pretty nice anyway. If you just treated it as you know an ordinary curry house, and the staff were extremely helpful. So there was Martin, Debbie, Roy, me, um, out and. Um, we looked at the menu beforehand, so I had a reasonable idea what we wanted. Uh, we got in there, and the staff, you know, came up to us straight away. And the place was quite busy, but they sat us down, took our drinks order, and then came and took the food order. Um, and we ate. Um, and we we had two courses and a drink, and we were out of there within an hour and twenty minutes. Which, given how busy it was, I thought was really pretty good. Um, um, so in t- I would certainly recommend the place and just to give you an idea I had chilli garlic duck as a starter uh, it was bits of duck coated in like uh, no, oh, sorry it was um, the f- Facebook thing going off on my phone it was uh, duck coated in chilli and garlic with a few bits of pepper and onions with it a um, bit of salad garnish you know a carrot um, shaped like a flower and a uh, few bits of you know, onion and tomato and that bit of lemon um, I know that Debbie had Momo as a starter which she, she said she enjoyed, they're a Nepalese dumpling which I've had in other places before uh, she, she said they were quite spicy and she had the meat ones um, they're often available either fried or steamed if you had them fried um, the others didn't have starters but my main uh, was a um, was a, a lamb. It was it was lamb uh, flavored with Szechuan peppers. Um, served served with um, flavored with Szechuan peppers and chili. Um, quite a tasty dish. It was described as being quite a dry dish, but um, but I, you could choose the heat um, any way, anything from mild to hot. Um, and with that, I had a, a a rice with fruit and vegetables in it. It, it was mainly vegetables, just a tiny, a few little bits of fruit, just to give it a slight sweetness. And I actually quite liked it. There was plenty of it. In terms of heat, the dish was probably um, the hot end of Madras, I would say, be- between Madras and Vindaloo. So it was quite spicy, but... It, you know, f- I mean, if you weren't used to hot curries, it would pr- you, it would probably be too much. But as I am used to them, it was you know nice and you know nice and hot with it without being overkill. Um, despite the, the um, description of the dish being dry, it wasn't particularly dry at all. Um, the staff were really helpful because they offered to put the food. I asked if they could put the food on my plate, uh, and there was no problem with them doing that at all. You know, I explained that you know. It, difficult with hot dishes and didn't want to spill any of it but they were really helpful um I just had a pint of cobra really to drink and uh the others and i'm trying to remember what the others had martin had a fish masala um which claimed to be devon's favorite fish masala well he certainly said it was very tasty uh roy had a chicken 65 um Chicken 65, medium strength. Now, the chicken 65 I've come across is battered. Um, little bits of chicken with batter on. I've not come across. Yeah, I've, I've, I'll have to look on the menu and see if I can find a description for that. It's it's normally a South Indian thing. And no one seems to quite know why it's called chicken 65, although it is quite famous. Um, Debbie had effectively a mixed grill. It had... You know, I think you had sort of chicken tikka, lamb tikka, a chop, and a, you know, that kind of um, chicken tikka, lamb tikka, a chop, and maybe some tandoori chicken uh, came with naan bread and a curry sauce. She didn't really want the curry sauce, but I think Roy had that instead. Um, and, yeah, that's about it for our food and drink. But, as I say, the staff were really great, and I think having 
I really do think that providing the food is basically good, and this was certainly a very acceptable curry house, having decent staff really makes a night, and it can add, when I'm thinking about what mark to give a place out of 10, it can add, it can add a mark. So normally I would have given it seven as being a good, yeah, on the good side of average curry, um, but I'm going to give it an eight just because of the quality of service we got from the staff. Um, and I would, you know, certainly say that if you happen to be in Exmouth, uh, or you, you know, for whatever reason, and uh, you know, you, you you fancy going for a curry, I think this is, um, this is really quite a good one to go to. Um, Tandoori Nights is the other one in Exmouth, and I think this probably beats it, beats Tandoori Nights, to be honest. Mainly the reason it beats it is the quality of service. It's good enough, in, it's quite acceptable in Tandoori Nights, but I think here they really went the extra mile. Pause. Button.